right, so board's been shaped. I've taken my measurements here. I'm going to be putting the foil boxes in and reinforcing through the board with a piece of PVC. boxes and then in between there there's a piece of PVC which looks like this material which goes all the way from the bottom of the board through to the top so we're gonna laminate this in place with epoxy resin and micro balloons Alright, it is game time. We're going to be laminating my foil board over here. So this is a polystyrene that's been uh, had a fairing compound added and then sanded off nice and smooth except for the spots where I dented it which sucks but um, smooth enough and ready to go. So we're going to be mixing up a batch of epoxy resin and hardener over here. Epoxy resin, hardener, weigh it on the scale. Mix it with a, the um, drill bit and a little mixer that I made up. Then we're going to be adding a layer of fiberglass reinforcement um, around the fin area over here where we need extra strength because that's where the foil mast comes out. Then we're going to be adding a full layer of fiberglass uh, that's been cut up here on the entire bottom of the board. Then we're going to put this PVC sheet, this little three mil sheet that's going to give it extra strength. Then we put the second layer of fiberglass on, obviously with adding the epoxy resin all the way through. Then we add this peel ply, which is a material that um, is designed to make the surface finish good and let all the resin through, the excess resin. Then we add this release film and then we add this breather fabric. The release film is to prevent the breather fabric to stick sticking to the peel ply. Um, which the peel plug comes off anyway, so I'm not 100% sure what that's for. Then everything goes into this bag or this sleeve here, which is um, a sleeve that you cover the entire board with. Then you seal the ends off with some super sticky, uh, like, I don't know what it's called, sticky yellow tape stuff, putty tape. Then we connect this little breech unit or breech valve to the pipe and um, this thing screws off and it has a seal inside so the one side stays in the bag and the other side stays out then this pulls a vacuum or a partial vacuum it goes into this little bottle which uh, causes which ensures that if there's any excess resin that comes through that it doesn't go onto the into the pump or the next components then we've got a, a pressure gauge or I suppose a negative pressure gauge it uh, can tell you whether you're pulling a vacuum so we aren't allowed to go more than negative 0.4 bar otherwise the entire polystyrene will collapse and it'll be everything will be ruined so in order to ensure that it doesn't pull a full vacuum we're gonna have this little tap here that you can regulate and just ensure that some air leaks out through this little pipe with this hoodie on to filter that no dust gets in then this suction here which is now gonna be 0.4 um, goes all the way through. Well, why is it going to be 0.4? Because it's connected to a vacuum pump, which um, basically just sucks air all the way through until it becomes a vacuum. Um, so this stays on through the entire drying process. So that's the plan. Take one, let's see how it goes. Pretty excited.
here it is. Vacuum bagged, curing. There's a little bit of a leak here. You can hear that. So I didn't do this taping very well first time trying. But that is actually helping this pressure stay at there's a little valve connector. That's helping the pressure stay at 0.5 bar. 0.4 bar without too much of this tap needing to be open. Which is scary in case that little thing closes, but it should be good. So it's time for round two of the uh, lamination of the foil board. So, um, this is the previous side. This is now the bottom side that's already been laminated. We're looking at the top side here. The bottom side's already laminated. I've taped it kind of shut so that I don't need to do extra sanding. We're going to be doing the same 